Hi, so I'm just going to go through some back stitching for the Hello Spring stitch along. So this is for this sheep here. So he has quite a simple outline back stitch around his fluffy wool. Um, you feel free to sort of cut diagonally across if you want. I just quite like doing simple back stitch like that around the white. That's the only reason I've back stitched around there so the white isn't on white. Then his face has a little bit of a tiny back stitch. So on the pattern, it just is here. Let me focus in a bit more. You can barely even see his eyes but they're here and then his little mouth so it's in the middle of the square middle of the square middle of the square that our back stitch will start so let me show you so for his eye we're going to come up not there <laughs> not there here Let me focus that again. It's really hard to see the needle when it's coming through black. We're coming up here in the middle of that square and then we're going down right in the middle of this X. So you might have to jiggle your thread around a little bit to get it in. Mm -hmm. Oh there we go, that's quite easy for me actually. And I'm using the loop method to get catch my eye at the back. So this is part of my Hello Spring stitch along. I run a few stitch alongs a year over on my website Hannah Han Makes if you want to join in any. This one's nearly over now, the time of recording this. There'll be another one starting in a couple of months. Oh, so there's that eye. As you can see it's so tiny. So now I'm going to do the other eye in the middle of this square. And then again, you're just going to go right into the middle of that X. I also have loads more tutorials over on my blog at hannahanmakes.com forward slash blogs. Um, I have a cross stitch blog and other DIY craft tutorials over there. Lots of videos too. Okay, so now his mouth. So we're going to come here. So it's like one square under the eye for a normal hole. And then we're going down in between this and this. So we're going in the middle there. There's a nice gap there for me already to go into. Oh. I haven't pulled this tight on this one. The other one looks a bit smaller. Have I come up the right place? No. That is why <laughs> I call it, I've done it wrong. I thought this looked a bit odd. Right, I'm gonna just start the mouth again. I'm so professional getting these videos wrong. It's my own pattern, I should know that, shouldn't I? Let me just unthread that a second and we'll start the mouth again. Let me re thread my needle. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm useless sometimes, aren't I? This is what I get for not looking at the pattern. Right, I see. Okay. So we are coming up direct one square under the eye, but not here where I just was, in the middle of the square. Here. And then back down into the middle again, where I said where that gap was. That looks a bit better, a bit tighter and smaller. That's right. Okay, so again. So we're directly under the eye, in the middle bit of the square. It's so hard to see on black side though, isn't it? I mean um, with black thread. Try and brighten it up a bit so you can see where it's coming through. That's a bit better, isn't it? There we go. And then down into that same hole. And we have a little mouth. He looks a little bit evil, the sheep, doesn't he? 
so yeah if you want to see any more tutorials or join in any stitch alongs come over to hannahanmakes.com <laughs>